but I've got this to do and that to do and this to do and this to do. And they're just, they just don't know when to say no. And how do people uh, be okay with saying no? Being called selfish is something we say to little girls all the time when they put their own needs in front of somebody else's. This is such a hurtful thing that we do. What can we, how can we change this? Mm. Love this because this is a subject that I do, I work with my clients on undoing those thoughts. Mm -hmm. It takes so long, you know, we spend the first half of our lives saying, you're selfish, don't be selfish, give, give that toy to somebody else, you know, you're the, all through childhood. And then suddenly, as I work with women, one of the first questions I ask them is, what do you want? Mm. That is an amazing question that takes people sometimes minutes to even come up with a word. And a lot of the times I'll hear, I feel so selfish saying that. I, still, I, I, I don't even know. Or I grant them permission to answer this question, what do you want? And they'll say, I hear this a lot, wow, it feels so good to, to even be allowed to, to answer that question. You know, and it is such a thing that it's okay to be selfish. I think we could sit here all day and define what is selfishness, but to me, the way I define it is self-care, self-love, uh, putting the oxygen mask on you first before you take care of others. You cannot take care of others and give love to other people if you don't have this element of selfishness, self-love. And so when you put that on to somebody and, and, and ask them to be a little selfish, it's, it's an odd, uncomfortable feeling. Mm -hmm. So that's what I say. I think it's, it's about being self-love, self but not so selfishness in the way we, as a society, define it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a big difference, I think, between being self-nurturing and self-loving and being selfish. Um, when you are able to give to yourself, it, it fills you up in a way that you can give to other people. Mm -hmm. When you're being selfish, first of all, nobody likes to be called selfish because no. the connotation is very negative and it probably will be for a long time, right? When you're being selfish, it's depleting. It's depleting from the people around you and I think it disconnects you. Um, when you're being self-loving and nurturing and giving to yourself, it allows you to connect better, better with other people. I think it's very important you know, the distinction that Lindsay made that we teach this to our kids. Mm -hmm. There's a big difference between giving to yourself and then, you know, being in yourself, which mm -hmm. is being selfish. Mm -hmm. I love that you said that because I don't think people are selfish enough. I work mm. with singles worldwide okay. and they're exhausted. Like they're running on empty. Their tank is, mm -hmm. you know, empty and they're They've given so much of themselves that like people could use what I like to say honoring themselves. Mm -hmm. People are like honoring myself, but I've got this to do and that to do and this to do and this to do. And they're just they just don't know when to say no. And how do people uh, be okay with saying no? And as a form of honoring themselves and self-love mm -hmm. and being able to fill themselves up, because I do think women are a big nurturing part of the relationship. And when you don't have love for yourself, it's really hard to give it to somebody else. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people a lot of women particularly have trouble saying no. And no is pushing away as opposed to yes. And love feels like a big yes. And you can say no by saying yes. So how it would look is just, if you don't want to say no, you don't have to. You simply say, I wish I could. I'd really like to do that. I can't. So you just go into I can't rather than no. Because the truth is, you're just saying the truth. The truth is, I wish I could. And I can't, end of sentence is, that you don't have to say is, I want to go off and go for a walk in nature right now, or I want to go spend time and do something I enjoy doing. You don't have to announce that to other people because they might think you're being selfish because they also think it's wrong to be selfish. Mm -hmm. Now this is particularly a woman's issue. Men typically should be a little selfless, okay? We, <laughs> we have no problem being selfish. And <laughs> it's sort of a biological imperative. If you look at the evolution of men, we're out there hunting and danger. You've got to only think about yourself the whole time. Mm -hmm. so true. But we're not like just narcissists. Why are we out there doing it? It's because we care for someone else. Sure. Mm -hmm. It gives meaning to our life. But while your daily activity is, you're always thinking about yourself, your position, where you are. And, and often why men do get quiet under stress is think about a man in danger, you become quiet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's like, a, it's a major reaction inside. So, so the, the idea there is for men, it's okay to learn to become more selfless 
But for women, it's okay to learn to be more what we're calling self selfish. selfish. So it sounds like in our vocabulary, the word selfish is a little misplaced, mm. right? There's a positive way of being selfless and taking care of oneself, whether you're single or married and have kids, whatever. And we need to get to a place where we're not using that word selfish in a negative way with our kids. Mm.